everybody. Last Outrider here. How are you doing today? Uh, this video is for every person who has ever asked me, what do I think about this, that, or the other 40K theory they have heard, thought of, or was whispered into their fevered dreams by chaos at night? Um, the simple answer is, I believe almost all of them are completely and totally unfounded and wrong, and they are the products of people's personal imaginations, and little more than that. Which is why I never talk about them. So, for the first time, I'm going to tell you my theory of 40K. The problem with all of the theories is that the Imperium of Man never existed the way the Emperor intended it to be. And I don't mean the Horus Heresy. I mean the Emperor's plan for the Imperium was destroyed at the time that the Primarchs were stolen from the Vault. Think about that. Let's look, now that we read the books and that we have more information on the uh, Adeptus Custodes, we can really identify what the Emperor's original plan for the Imperium was. Basically, if the Primarchs had not disappeared, it can be reasonably concluded that the Emperor would have raised them and trained them. Okay, so what do you look like when you are raised and trained personally by the Emperor? The answer? The Adeptus Custodes. Why? Because they're all personally raised and trained by the Emperor. Therefore, all 20 Primarchs would have gone through the same conditioning and training as any Legio Custodes went through. They would have all essentially been like Constantine Valdor, the Captain General of, of the 10,000. This means that they would have all been 100% loyal to the Emperor and uncorruptible, just like any Custodes is now. Which also means that all of these different personalities that the Primarchs have would never have existed. Um, because they would have undergone that psychic training and conditioning that all of the Custodes go through. which pretty much makes them a very fixed personality type. Then what would have happened is when the time for the Great Crusade came about, the Emperor would have stayed on Terra to finish his great work, which is the reclaiming and expansion of the webway for human use. After that webway is reclaimed for human use, the Emperor had a mechanism for sealing off the galaxy from the warp completely. The effect of which would have been the end of all psychic ability in the galaxy. So that would have been the end of the Eldar for any theories involving them. One of the Custodes describes the Eldar as a species that is too arrogant to know it's dead. 
So how about all of the Space Marine chapters? Well, the Space Marine chapters are a product of the Primarchs being lost in the galaxy. They're different personalities. The Space Wolves, the Ultramarines, the Blood Angels, the whoever you like. Those chapters would never have existed. As we know, the 20 original legions led by the Emperor had different names. But they basically all had the same combat doctrine and they were all recruited from Terra and would have been Terran Marines. So all of these different personalities and combat doctrines of the different chapters, they never would have existed. The 20 Primarchs would have led the 20 Terran Marine legions. You know, the, the Dusk Raiders would have been the Dusk Raiders. The, the, the Lunar Wolves would have stayed the Lunar Wolves, and they all would basically have been the same, and all of the personalities of the Primarchs would basically have been the same. So, any theory that involves, say, the Inquisition, or for Lehman Russ to be Lehman Russ, or Space Wolves to be Space Wolves, or anybody to be this individualized chapter that they've been created over the last 10,000 years must be wrong because the Emperor never planned for that to happen. He just had to accept it as damage that was done to his Primarch. None of those chapters would have ever existed. The Horus Heresy then would never have happened. Um, so any theory that's based upon these occurrences needing to take place must be wrong. Because they would never have been the Emperor's plan. Uh, and there would not be any psychers because the Emperor would have closed them off from the galaxy. So, so the only thing that we do know is that the Tyranids might or might not have shown up. Uh, we, we, we know that it's hinted that the Tyranids are probably the product of the old ones because the material of the webway, the technology of the webway is described as being an organic technology made from materials that are not from this galaxy and that most accurately describes the Tyranids the orcs would have just been orcs but the Imperium had proven that they can wipe out whole, that the orcs were not a problem that was the whole point of the Olinor campaign the largest orc empire in the galaxy was wiped out therefore we could assume that the orcs would not have been a problem to the Imperium. The Eldar would have died after the psychics were cut off. The Necron, well, we don't really know. The Necron aren't really doing anything, but we know they're not psychic, and they were already trying to cut the galaxy off from psychic, from, from, from the warp anyway, so they probably wouldn't have been upset. Yeah, so, so it would have been a lot more a boring place, I guess you could say. Because none of these events, none of these huge events would have happened. So, that would be my all-encompassing theory of 40K. You have to look at what the, originals, what the Emperor's original plan was, and everything that didn't go according to that plan is a mistake. So virtually like 90% of all of 40k is a mistake. There would have been no Grey Knights, for example. Uh, there would have been no Space Marine chapters. You just would have had the 20 original legions, each led by a Primarch, an incorruptible 
Legio Custodes Primark. That's it. That's the original plan. I know, it's not as boring. I mean, it's not as interesting as, as so many other theories that are out there, but that's how I see 40K should have been. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, bye.